This is this is actually this is actually the 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 thing that I find fascinating about electric motors. So um, if you go to the energy.gov site and you look at what the kilowatt hour is per gallon of gas, like a U.S. gallon of gas, according to that website, is equal to 33.7 kilowatt hours. All right. My batteries, if I had 100% usability from these batteries, um, irrelevant whether if they're lead or not, um, if I had 100% use of the energy stored in the batteries, I would have 33.4. So let's not split hairs here, right? I've pretty much got the equivalent of uh, a gallon of gas. Um, you know, stored in 1,600 pounds of batteries, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. However, here's the catch. Um, actually, hang on a sec. Let me grab something for you just to give you a little bit of perspective. All right, so here we have a four liter jug of water, which is pretty much equivalent to a US gallon of gas, for the most part. Uh, US gallon of gas, six pounds. My batteries, 1,600 pounds and change. Um, well, you can see the footprint here for a gallon, and uh, I'm sure you've seen in previous videos um, the footprint that my batteries uh, take up. So you're thinking, well, what's your point? You're not really making the argument for the uh, EV crowd. Here's my point. My point is that that gallon of, of uh, fuel, according to people with similar size boats, similar setups, doing a similar speed, four to four and a half knots. Uh, just scoured the trawler forums, talked to a few different people. Um, on average, they're getting three miles per gallon. Not, not fuel burn like gallons per hour, but they're getting three miles per gallon. So when you think about an e-gallon, I'm getting 14 nautical miles and call it 16 road miles per e-gallon, and I'm not using the full pack. So that, I think, just speaks to the efficiency of an electric propulsion system. The only thing that sucks is that you can't store the energy um, required to go long distances. But yeah, I mean, again, I have to rely on the math that a lot of these people have done, and I think it kind of makes sense because it's not unusual to see such terrible mileage in these uh, cabin cruisers. It's just that whole argument. You got to pay to play when you own a boat, right? And, um, you know, so some people might be getting like two miles per gallon. Some people might be getting six. But if you think about it, it still doesn't um, equate to the efficiency of electric motors. And I think that the gas, you know, I mean, we've all heard that gas motors are probably 30, 35% efficient. It might be better these days. I don't know. But um, then you've also got the, you know, the numbers for electric motors. They claim anywhere from 80 to 95% efficiency. And maybe that's just the difference. They can just utilize the power, um, the available power more efficiently. And the other thing is, is that I didn't use the full energy that was stored in the batteries. I mean, theoretically, you can't really, but um, I mean, you could, but uh, lithiums, yeah, you could for sure. But um, for these packs, I don't know, I probably only used, you know, 18, 19 kilowatts. I mean, even if it was 20. It's just, uh, so yeah, it just kind of makes you think, right? That um, if we could figure out a way to store the energy better, which, I, you know, it's getting there. Um, I have faith. But uh, yeah, it just keeps you, keeps you thinking, right? So if I just doubled the pack, then I could get, uh, like doubling the amp hours, and I could definitely go places um, but yeah regardless of the range it's just the efficiency that's something I find uh, fascinating I don't know if the math is correct maybe if I'm, if I'm really wrong let me know but I kind of don't feel like I am I feel like a lot of these guys that do their own um, calculations a lot of these guys are pretty 
smart. It seems to make sense. Um, and uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got. It's getting a little uh, choppy out here, coming up around the corner. When you got sailboats keeling over, it's never, never a good sign for a boat like this. So I might actually pull back. I got some white caps up ahead of me, so might just turn around or go somewhere else. All right, so uh, what is the point I'm trying to drive home? Well, I will tell you in a minute, but first I wanna talk about these cookies here. These are uh, Walker's shortbread cookies and they totally kick ass and they're not paying me to say a damn word. Um, but they're made with real butter and if you can't uh, bake your own shortbread cookies like I can't bake my own shortbread cookies you know it's probably the easiest thing in the world to do now that I think about it um, or maybe not I have no idea I've never tried but uh, if you want something that's like store-bought but it tastes like home hands down for me walkers made with real butter unless you know of another brand because I'd be very very happy to put them to the test here um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, aside from that, um, sort of to wrap this conversation up, um, we know that electric boats are, and cars for that matter, are terrible at storing electric energy, but um, they are fantastic at using it. So there you go. So whatever they have on board, they can use it uh, quite efficiently. Uh, cars obviously far better than boats, but... It is what it is. Uh, also, don't forget that um, this boat here has a terrible hull design, right? So, you know, if people are really worried about like the numbers that I'm throwing out there, I'm dealing with um, a bit of a, a strange cat here, right? So I could very easily go and get like a sailboat, catamaran, and all that stuff, right? And yeah, it totally makes sense, right? To uh, convert that to electric, throw up your sails and all that. Yeah, it's been done, like been done. <laughs> But cabin cruiser, I don't know, man. How many how many cabin cruisers like this out there do you see that are converted? And don't hit me up with a whole bunch because I don't want to know. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's a it's a brave new world that we're in. So I hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Um, I haven't decided where my mind sits on this whole thing. Um, I'm suspicious by nature. So I'll let you know that. And um, well, on a final note here, um, if you got the weather and the time, you might as well give the boat a good scrub because, uh, you know, it only gets worse if you leave it till the springtime, so you might as well stay on top of it. Just a reminder, if you are a lazy person and um, you're thinking about getting a boat, don't do it because uh, boats are not for lazy people. <laughs> you have to stay on top of it and uh, keep them nice and clean and happy. There you go.